All right, I'm talking about another script from Takeda that has helped me out right now, and I've just figured out how to use it. So I might as well explain how it's done. So when importing PSDs into DaVinci Resolve, it's not very, it's not the best process. Just doing it through what Resolve already has. Let's just go up to Fusion, go down to Import, and go over to PSD, and then we could go find our PSD file that we want to import. Let's go over here, over here, and that's the one I'm going to use. Open, and then it's going to import it in all on different layers like this. And if we just check the bottom one and see our final result, that is not my picture. All right. It's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like this. And so what do we need to do? So there is a solution for this. And that is brought to us by, of course, Takedo with his PSD splitter tool. So I'm going to show you how to do it. If you don't know how to get Takedo scripts, you need to go follow this tutorial right here where I show you how to do that. And then I can show you how to do it. All right. We're going to open up Resolve with Takedo script and then we're going to import the PSD file. So I'm going to open Takedo's launcher. Then we go down to Resolve launcher and make sure your launcher is set to your right file in that tutorial. And then we hit Resolve, open that up. And then we have this PSD splitter control over here. I'm just going to open that up and our little UI panel is going to pop up for us right here. So right now we need to navigate to our PSD. This is the PSD you want to do. We just click over to these three dots and it'll show you where to find it. Click our PSD. That's the one we want. Open, save there. Now we need to save or a JSON script is going to be saved at. And I'm just going to put it here. Actually, let's just make another folder over here and let's save it to that folder. Select that folder and now that'll save there. Then we're just going to hit split. So basically it's going to go through that PSD file. It's taking apart all layers, all the elements. Each individual layer will be a different media in node and it's making a script that's going to run inside of DaVinci Resolve. So, all right, now it's done. We're going to close this right here. Open this up. Close that. We're going to go inside our fusion comp. Then let's go up to our workspace. Go down to scripts over to RS, then to import, and then import PSD splitter. And we're going to the three dots over here, and then we're going to pick the JSON file that we need. And let's go back over here and grab this, grab this. And that's the one right there. Hit open. Everything's good here, I believe. And then I hit import. Done. And then we can see over here, close this down. We have all of our PSD right here. And then we open it up, look at it, and our whole thing is there just like that. And yeah, we have our PSD right there. And then each of our files are right here. Each little point that we have saved out on each layer, all over here, all set up just like this. And yeah, there you go. So that's how we use the PSD splitter. And I'm just gonna add a AD out. And then I can do whatever animations you want to your image. One of the things that he suggests in his tutorial is that we select all these media ins, and then let's go open up control shift space, and then we're gonna open up comp utility. Let's open up that one right there. And then we're gonna apply a bunch of transform nodes to this over here. So RS comp, and then we're going to insert. Let's type in transform or just uh, XF, I believe. Go down to that one, click and then insert, and it gives us a transform for all of our media ins that we have here. And let's see, let me carefully move this up. There we go. And bring this over here. And then we do our animations or whatnot to our individual layers that we have over here. But yes, that's the nicer way of how to import a PSD instead of resolve using Takeda script. Now, I will warn you, I did have a glitch earlier that looked like this. And I don't know what I did wrong, but if you do encounter it, I would just say shut down your PC and then restart it and it should work. I don't know why I did that that time, but just a warning for you guys. If you're interested in learning about the script more, I have a video going over the best tools that I think are inside it. Otherwise, subscribe and have a good day.